Hi, it's Emily. We are doing a Boss Mom interview with the fantastic owner of Bundle Baby. <laughs> I have seen so much of your stuff all over, like everyone's Instagram feeds and like the things you do with a blanket are so yeah. creative and the ways that you make everything so like, I'm just, I'm not that creative, uh, so I love seeing all of these awesome Ottawa businesses. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. It's funny enough, a lot of the ideas that came from the blanket were not mine. I had moms doing this, and uh, Erica from Mom Break, she, she flipped it upside down, and she says, if you could put snaps so that you could wear it in the baby carrier, and, and so there's all these ideas that came from other parents, and I yep. just kind of take the feedback and work it into the product, so, yeah. Now, how long have you been running your business? Two years, uh, okay. a little less than two years. Yeah, yeah. So still fairly new, but I mean, you've had things, like you've had huge growth in that amount of time. Yeah. Well, I knew nothing. <laughs> I started a business not knowing. Really, I think anybody that starts a business, if they knew what it took to create the business, I think they wouldn't do it. <laughs> I really, true. I don't know if I would have. I, I didn't know what I didn't know, and that's a good thing because I wouldn't have done it. But yep. yeah. So you obviously you started the business when you had the little ones still fairly new. Yeah. So with my first, the idea came, and with my twins, I made it. I went to see a seamstress and I said, "Can you help me make this idea?" And I worked with her, and she uh, she helped me create the first ones that I used for my babies. And then uh, the idea kind of, and I learned how to sew, and I roll, and two years later, it's what it is. Yeah, no, that that's very cool. Like I said, I love seeing all of these posts with all these moms using it in such creative ways. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your business, about your products, because I'm not everyone is as much of an Instagram stalker as I am. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a blanket uh, for babies that um, it fits between, use it for the bucket. So it's ideally zero to 12 months. And uh, now I'm in the fall, I'm gonna be launching what I call a three-in-one blanket. So you could use it in the baby carrier, so the, the car seat. Yep. You could use it in the stroller, and you could also use it in the baby carrier that, the, the oh, that'll baby be carrier. Yeah. Well, I may be stalking you a little more then. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming. I see you. I see you coming. <laughs> and so now, how have you been able to manage like this kind of growth with three little ones at home? Because like I said, you've got a little girl, plus you've got twin boys, and I mean, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around two, let alone twins yeah. thrown in the mix. The growth that you <laughs> see might be a little different than what the growth actually is, but uh, I... I the boys go to daycare two mornings a week, so I have those two mornings, and I also have nap time because they still nap, so you squeeze it in when you can. Yep. So, yeah. But hopefully, once everybody's in school, I'll be able to chug a little harder, hustle a little more. So. Now, as you get into that school age, like, what are your, what's your goals for the next year, two years, kind of thing? Where do you see this going? With my business? Yes. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully, so this next year, I, I hand make my my blankets. Currently, I'm really hoping within the next 12 months that I'm going to be able to outsource that. So Very hopefully, cool. my goal is within the next 12 years, 12 months, Oops. outsourcing the uh, outsourcing the fabrication. Very cool. Yeah. And one thing I really like to touch on is this whole idea of a work-life balance. Like it just, huh? yeah, exactly. That it's <laughs> That's a myth. That does not exist. So what advice could you pass on to another mom who, like you said, is thinking about starting a business, but is having those hesitations and dreaming it, of balance? It, dreaming, yeah. You dream. The goal is balance. <laughs> but uh, I think really what people, what you need to do is when you're with the kids, you're with the kids. Yeah. And when you're working in your business, you're working in your business. It's. Uh, it's really having those really strong, because the, when you get off balance, it's really when you, you mix it all together. Yep. When you're with the kids, but you're thinking, oh, I should be doing this, and I email, and whatever, and then they come up to you, and you get frustrated because you don't have the time to finish, and so it's really when, kid time is kid time, and then work time is work time, and you really have a reserved time for that, and they don't bleed into each other, or you have tasks that are less, brain demanding like demanding yeah. on your uh, and yeah. I find that is the biggest struggle is trying to make that split because yeah. 
you want to be doing the business thing, but then you want to be doing the kid thing, and it's just, there's... But you can have, there's some activities, right? There's some activities that don't take a lot of, like, if the kids are playing and I'm, like, I have to hand sew something, you know, that's, that doesn't take any of my brain power, so yeah, that's an easy thing to do, I, and I can still talk to the kids. So there's things that I have, like a list of activities that I have that I could do when the kids are there, and then some that I, there's no you way I'm touching. Yeah. Yeah, I don't touch when my kids are there. Very cool. Yeah. So we're going to post all of your wonderful social media handles so that awesome. everyone can insta-stalk you like I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am fully aware that I do that. <laughs> but it's a way to connect, right? Yeah. Um, and if you've got any questions about business or obviously sewing and or want to invest in one of these awesome blankets or the three-in-one that's coming this fall, which will be perfectly timed for people having babies shortly, <laughs> um, check her out. And thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to thank sit you. with me. Thank you. Thanks a lot.